today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I am going to, as you may know, I am trying to use the things in my collection a little bit more. I don't know how that is going and today I'm going to use a palette. I don't think I ever used it on YouTube. It's one of the LH Cosmetics palettes. This is the Infinity Glam. So this is the pink pink one in the Infinity line. They have one Infinity, Infinity Deep and this one. And I really really like LH Cosmetics and I <laughs> almost buy all the palettes. I think there is one palette that I don't have from them. But I like never use them on camera. And it's mainly because I don't think people want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I'm going to use this today and I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to do for look. But I am going to... Okay, I will just stop my makeup. So I will just do a look with the Infinity Glam palette. And I think I also will use maybe this as a blush. And I don't know if I can use this as a highlighter, I'm not sure. But yeah, I will do a look with this. So I think we just get started and now Ines is... I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. And if it is that you want to see more from Linda Hallberg or LH Cosmetics, they've changed the name again. I also have the colorful rainbow palette from them that I haven't used yet. Yeah. So okay, I will just dig in to this makeup look and now I have two cats in here. I don't know, and this one, maybe that is better. So, I think I want to use this as my shimmer shade. I don't know if I want to use maybe these three colors and maybe this one as well. And maybe I'll take this one in my crease, then go in with this one in my crease and then take these two on my lid. Maybe I should try and we'll see how that will go. And LH Cosmetics has been one of my favorite brands. I have yeah, almost everything from them. I don't have the eyebrow shapener thing, eyebrow gel. I have been very close to buy it more than once, but I haven't. And I don't have... I can't remember the classic palette, the 20s palette, 20s glam. I don't know, I can put a picture up here. I don't have these two products and I don't have all of the different lip things. But I have actually bought all their five new lipsticks yeah this with not shopping things it's not going very good and i'm thinking about doing a video with them after i have done this makeup and i have something in my eye me and my boyfriend before i'm filming this we were out of the woods and was looking for mushrooms <laughs> i don't know is it chanterelle? Can't be chanterelle in English. Cantarelle on Swedish. I, I love those. It's like one of the favorite things. But we just found like this small. We found some bigger, but we didn't take the small ones. But like, I really want to eat them because it's my favorite. And it reminds me so much of my childhood. Me and my dad very often when I was little was picking mushrooms in the woods and uh, yeah. And okay. I don't know what this video is going to turn out to be. Is it going to be a get ready with me? Is it going to be just a video with me using things that I normally don't use? I don't know. I haven't been filming that much this week. 
I'm trying to film at least like three or four days a week but there was some setbacks with my dad I have talked about that I don't want okay is this is this going to be get rid of me yeah I think it might be and uh, like it was hard it's going the right way again but it was some setbacks and yeah I didn't want to film and then I actually had a friend over and we went out for eating dinner and it felt so strange I I don't have that many friends and it has been a while since I'd seen many of my friends because of the situation and also like we all have different lives so it felt like we were out on a date it was with one of my oldest friends that I have. We have known each other for over 25 years. And it was really good just be out eating and talk about everything and nothing. <laughs> so then I didn't film yesterday. Oh, I took the wrong shade. And then today it's Sunday and I have actually been at work. Okay, this is starting to turn out to get rid with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we have inventory. I usually don't work on Sundays, but we had inventory today. And I had like the worst. I dreamt that I did sleep long, so I overslept. And in my dream, I was trying to ask my boyfriend if the dream was real was real was real or if it was just a dream because i felt so bad that i have overslept from work but he was like yeah this is the real life and i was panicking and then i woke up like 40 minutes before i set my alarm clock and i was like oh thank god it was a dream i hate it i hate to dream about things that could happen it's like the worst feeling and then you don't know am I asleep? Am I awake? What is going on? I really like the palettes from Linda Hallberg and but it's just that I don't know what to do. And I love the brushes. It's some of my absolute favorite brushes. And I really like their old Fantastics, their old lipsticks and their new lip glosses. I love them so so much but that is absolute this is one of the brands that I absolutely like mostly used off cam or use but don't do maybe use the lip gloss or a pen in my waterline or something I usually don't do videos only about Lena Hallberg I don't know what it is what is up with these two? Okay, so now I'm going in with this Rhea shade, this shimmer, and we will see if it is a good match. I can't remember how this is with. Uh... Isn't this is it pigmented or. Okay. I don't know. I think it is a little bit with the shades that are like this is supposed to be an all over palette like both for your eyes and for your cheeks so I guess then it's not super good if it's too pigmented but maybe a little bit more pigment I can build it up and sometimes I like don't know even what I expect from the shadows I think this is good because I'm going to do a swatch video on all the lipsticks. Did I say that? After this. So I don't want the eyes to be too much. Because I don't think that if I'm going to do a lip swatch video, I want the lips to be in the center and not the eyes. Okay, and now I don't like remember what I would talk to. 
we are doing dumplings today and we didn't find the, the dumpling dough <laughs> so we were looking in the freezer so I paused a little bit and now I can't remember what I talked about before I'm so sorry Maybe I can do, when I've tried out the colorful palette from Linda Hardberg as well, let me know if you want to see a video on that, because then I can do it. Maybe I can do a Get Red With Me or, yeah, first impression, just let me know. Maybe I could rank all the things I have from Linda Hardberg. Is that something like a brand review? Sometimes it feels for me like people outside of Sweden doesn't like Linda Harberg that much. But I don't know. I really like the brand, so... Yeah, LH Cosmetics. I'm so sorry if I'm saying the wrong name, but... First it was LH Cosmetics, then they changed it to Linda Harberg, and now they have changed it back to LH Cosmetics. So, I'm sorry for my confusion. Okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts. And I'm actually thinking about taking um, Linda Harbour products on my face as well. What I have and what I like from them. I have talked about this a little bit before, but like my new setup, I love it. I, okay, first of all, thank you for being so sweet when uh, I talked about that. Like that my get rid with me where I named it, who am I? And that you said that you watch me because of me. That really means a lot to me. And I just want to say thank you for that. And with this new background. It feels so good to just sit down. I don't need to like. Fix a lot before I film. I can just. Sit down and record. I love that. And. It, it is just so easy. Okay, maybe I should just put on this primer. Okay, I really do love this primer. This is not from the Darburg. This is from NYX. It's the high glass primer. But what I have heard, I think they are discontinuing the high glass. Or maybe they already have discontinued the high glass line. I'm not sure. I know that Daniela Kanikvist did a video about talking about NYX and that they are discontinuing everything. And yeah, I agree. They discontinue everything. I, I don't get it. You do a line that people love and then you're discontinuing it. Okay, I'm just putting up my hair. Oh. And do I look like a tin man? Yes, I do. Okay, so I guess this turned out to be get ready with me and not <laughs> playing with my things. But like, I really love to put on a get ready with me, like Paulina. Or, I don't know, I say Angelica Nykvist in Swedish, but then I'm going to talk about Paulina. Pa Paulina? What was that? Paulina. And then I always say it on English. I don't know why. And now the cats are really crazy. But she does a lot of Get Ready With Me's and really long videos. Like over half an hour. And I, I love that. I love to just put it on. Do you hear them? These are two little cats. It sounds like we have two Rottweilers or something. And I have actually started to set my under eyes with the powder from Linda Hallberg. I don't like to set my whole face with this because I think it deepened down my foundation a little bit. But for setting my under eyes, it is perfect. Okay, so for my face now, I'm going to I'm going to bronze with my or contour bronze contour. I know that some people hate when you say it's the wrong word. <laughs> this is a skin bronzing, but I use it as contour. This is from Nabla. This is Ombra. I love this one. I'm just going to do a little light contour with this. Just because I, I think this is the perfect color for me. 
and I don't think it is one perfect color in the Linda Hartberg palettes and just because I just like this one okay not just like I love it but then for a blush I usually use something from the Infinite palette this is used and abused some of the shades but I actually think that I will go in with maybe I should take no I take Andromeda this one this is one I use the most from this palette as a blush I just think it's really good and it's really it's not that pigmented and you have to build it up and I do really really like that and then I'm going to use Milky Way as my highlight and this I have hit pan in. so I'm trying to use it on the edges because I don't want to run out of it and then when I the few times I hit pan then I'm like okay I don't want to use it anymore because what if I use it up but at the same time like yeah that is like the point <laughs> to use things up I just love these palettes. Okay, I'm going to do my under eyes. And I think I will go in with this one, Day. That I had in my crease as well, but not like the most visible thing in my crease. But I will take this on a fluffy brush. Maybe this brush is a little bit too big. But yeah, just smudge it underneath my eyes. And this is a thing that I've started with like only a couple of weeks ago to use like a more fluffier brush under my eyes and use more like a little bit whatever for kind of brush before I only used smaller brushes but I have seen that a lot of people use bigger brushes and I was like okay what the fuck Maybe I should just try it. And you know what? I know why people do it because this is so good. So I think in my inner corner that I will go in with dust, this one. It has like a little bit of a sheen with a pink to it. So I will just put it in here. And I don't have the mascara from Linda Hartberg either. I haven't tried it. Okay, so I will spray my face, put on mascara, take something in my waterline. But I don't think I will take anything to my on my lips because I'm going to do a swatch video with these. And I don't want to start that swatch video with something on my lips. So I'm going to, or maybe I can take a lip gloss. Because I have two. I got two of them. So maybe I can take one of these. Maybe pestle peach so <laughs> we'll set take on setting spray mascara something in my waterline the lip gloss and then i come back so i took peach fast from colourpop in my waterline and i took the lh cosmetics infinity lip gloss in pestle peach on my lips and it feels like my lips disappeared but this lip gloss is so comfortable so yeah this is my finished look with the infinity glam palette and using this on my face and i just i really like lh cosmetics and i've been following linda for i don't know how many years so many years and i really do like the brand but i do not talk about them that much and one part of that is because i don't think like in my world it doesn't feel like you want to hear about them but I would l gladly do more videos about LH Cosmetics. And please let me know what you think I should do with this. Maybe I can show it to you. Maybe not all of you know how it looks. This is like a really simple um, rainbow palette. I'm actually debating on decluttering my certified tropical wonders and keep this instead i don't know yet maybe it will happen but please let me know what you want to see with this and yeah that was all for this i guess this became a good read with me 
So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. I love this look. I think yeah, this is something that I usually do when I'm not filming. And I don't know why I try to defend myself every time I do these kinds of looks. But yeah, please let me know what you want to see with Linda Harper more. If I should do like a brand review, I would gladly do it because I've tried the most things. And maybe you want to try LH Cosmetics out, but you don't know what to buy. I will happily do a review on it. See so ya! Yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!